Welcome back to another edition of Fucking Around with Joe before he has a shower. Uh, on our fourth cup of coffee, smoking these lame excuses for lucky strikes, getting life sorted out, man, because, you know, things are quite ungroovy most days, but we're just making do. <laughs> so, Faith Fuego, uh, she hijacks my channel sometimes, and I'm just getting around to seeing what the fucking bullshit she got up to last night, and I'm sure it's quite amusing. <laughs> Uh, she told a story about the bed bugs in France, man, and uh, I guess I got a crotch critter story for you. Uh, now, full disclosure, okay, like, it's no secret, I slept around, I did a lot of drugs, I drank too much, I made poor choices in life. I don't have any of these poor choices swimming around in my nut bag nowadays, but you know, like, it could happen again, I guess. And, uh, so... I never really had an STD. I only had one once, okay? My dead wife's mother gave it to me when she was in rehab, okay? <laughs> and then I had to explain to Stacy why we both had the burning dick of doom, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, her mom gave me the fucking clap, yeah. What are you, what are you gonna do about it, right? <sighs> fucking thing burns out. <sighs> so... It's no secret, man. Uh, I was a bad boy growing up. I made poor choices. Uh, you shouldn't do these things either. Because, you know, life sucks, man. And, uh, you know, sometimes it sucks you and sometimes you suck it, right? You know, the proverbial it. I don't actually mean put it in your mouth. Uh, so, I don't like to shave. Uh, I never have, never will. Uh, I got one hell of a man bush going on. Uh, I should probably bust out the clippers and deal with these problems, especially since things are getting salt and peppered and a little gray. Uh, it kind of bothers me. But I didn't shave. I was homeless for a year, right? I looked like Uncle Ted the Unabomber when I came home, man. Like, I just fucking... I was not okay. But I had this problem, okay? This is like... I would sleep with somebody for a place to live for the night, right? So I didn't have to sleep out in the rain, or the cold, or the sun, or anything else. I, I just didn't like sleeping outside, man. I mean, I had to, plenty, but, you know. And make no mistake, when you're homeless, you don't actually sleep. You just kind of fucking post up for a few hours and have a nap with your eyes open. You don't really get to sleep, okay? Okay. <laughs> so there's this older chick. Her name was Darla, right? Um, you know, she was doing a lot of meth, uh, like we all were, okay? By the way, you should not do these kind of drugs. Uh, they're bad for you, uh, they're bad for your health, bad for your mental well-being. Uh, just get your shit together, man, get clean, you know? And trust me, if you need to talk about it, man, we'll talk about it. <laughs> so... I was sleeping around, right? You know, me and the women were all broke up, and, you know, I was living outside, you know, my folks had moved to the new place, and I just wasn't ready to come home yet, man. I needed to get the room springer out of my system, right? It means run wild, right, in the Amish context. Uh, I just had quite a bit of that as a young kid before I cleaned myself up. And, uh, well... Darla and I, you know, we got better acquainted with one another. Uh, I showed her the rooster tattoo. Uh, she seemed quite amused by this, and we jammed our parts together until everything fit and become one with her creamy inner mayonnaise. Well, a few days later, I noticed this kind of burning sensation, this kind of ouchy feeling. Uh, well, it turns out I got crotch critters, man. I got crabs. Yeah, little dick pinchers, bro. So... How you deal with crabs is you shave off all the hair, and you get the special shampoo from the store. Uh, and of course, you have to explain to the cashier what happened and promptly show them that, you know, you have dick pinchers. Uh, they get really unamused by this idea, and they're like, oh, my God, that's fucked up. But they ask the question, like, so what's this shampoo for? I'm like, well, it's because uh, I made poor choices, I slept around, and now my dick is getting pinched by these little bugs. And I'm here to tell you, it does not feel nice to get crabs. Um, they're kind of mean little fuckers. You know, 
like there, there's lots of jokes about them you know you shave off one side and set the other side on fire and stab the little fuckers with an ice pick when they come out like there's a reason why that joke is real these little fuckers hurt dude like they're pinching on your ball bag and everything else and of course you don't have running water so you got to find a place to take a shower use a pair of clippers that somebody borrowed you and also apply this special shampoo to get rid of said bugs okay but this is a lesson why you don't sleep around right and i'm not telling you not to do it i'm just saying you know getting crabs is fucking lame bro <clears throat> they're a bunch of dirty little dick pinchers like they really i don't know what kind of bugs they are uh, I know getting rid of them is kind of a pain, but once you put that special shampoo on a few times, you know, like on your fucking special area, you know, uh, they go away. It's kind of like lice, I guess. Uh, I've never had lice. I've been actually bald since I was 14. I've been shaving my head that long. Although I have grown a porno mustache since I was a kid because, you know, men do glorious things that way. But yeah, man, like, if you're thinking about trying crystal meth for the first time, don't. Uh, you know, if you're on drugs, get off of them. And uh, if you think sleeping around after you've been drinking is a good fucking plan, don't do it. Because you could get the dick pinchers, okay? And, yeah, I know, I avoided, like, big things like a real STD. You know, like, aside from the clap, I mean, you know, first wife gave the... You know, your first wife's mom gave you the clap and you have to explain to her, you know, how that happened, right? I gotta tell you, that's, that's not a fun conversation to have. And they're, like, ashamed. Like, dude, my mom's ugly. I said, yeah, I know, but she put it in her mouth. And, uh, like, one thing led to another. And, you know, we're knocking ten bells. Like, don't don't question it, man. Shit happens. But, yeah, d dude, fucking crabs. That shit sucks. You know, uh, I think I was, like, 25. I got the crabs. And I gotta tell you, man, like, shaving your bush in a fucking dirty bathroom like with a pair of borrowed hair clippers and then having to get in the shower and put on this burning tingling fucking shampoo to get rid of the bugs yo like I mean the little fuckers run around to your taint and start biting dude like it ain't fun and when you're a hairy man beast like I am them fuckers tend to migrate and this is why you should get your shit together don't get the fucking dick pinchers bro and uh, as always, fucking around with Joe, stalling until uh, shower time after another cup of coffee. I'm going to go get a real pack of Lucky Strikes today and put some gas in the car. You know, life's glorious, man. So don't question it. <laughs>